So currently we are in the post Moore's Law's world where the technology scaling is slowing down. We are no longer get the free lunch from technology scaling. And at the same time, we are in the post ImageNet era where uh, machine learning engineers are dealing with more data, uh, more complicated problems that require actually more computation. So now what we, uh, our, our, our goal is to design domain specific architectures for AI and also work on efficient algorithms that are hardware friendly to work on the joint co-designing efficient algorithms and hardware. Yes, the result of this co-design is that the design space will become very large. So humans are very difficult to optimize over such huge design space. Um, therefore, I'm working on hardware-aware AutoML techniques to use machine learning to optimize, co-optimize the hardware and also the AI algorithm run, running on top of it to make it uh, using a learning-based method rather than rule-based method to design both the algorithm and also the hardware to bridge the stack to do the full stack design. AI will make engineers' life easier, but it won't replace engineers. AI can help with those repetitive work, but not those inno innovative work. Uh, just like the steam engine is replaced by the internal combustion engine, which is later replaced by the electrical in locomotive, the industrial revolution just happens. So at MIT, we need to cultivate students to make them well prepared for the new AI revolution. So my lab has a tight collaboration with the industry, uh, both the semiconductor companies and also the internet companies. In fact, all these devices are donated by our uh, industry, industry partners. So we help them to, to, to run those long-term research, those high-risk, high-return research, and the industry can provide us with the, uh, the new possibilities and new problems. And our students, we have a tight collaboration, and also they can go to industry for internship and later uh, for jobs. So that is a win-win situation for both of us. The reason why industry partners come to my lab is, first of all, our lab has a very close connection with the real-world applications. For example, hardware acceleration, model compression, they can immediately have uh, industry impact. And also my students are working on beyond what currently we have, but, um, a few years later, what will AI and hardware be like in the future? So they are interested to invest on in our research to help them um, build a more competitive um, product line in the future.